Hi everybody, Mr. Francisco here. I hope you're doing okay. Um, today we're going to be talking about members of the family. We're going to learn how to say mum, dad, brother, sister, example. For example, uh, we're going to practice pronunciation. Um, we are going to look at different patterns in nouns, and then we're going to use negatives in sentences. Okay, so. We're going to start off by practicing the numbers because you might have more than one brother or sister. So let's go through, practice the numbers um, and then we'll move on with the family. So repeat after me. Cero. Cero. Muy bien. Uno. Uno. Dos. Dos. Tres. Tres. Cuatro, cuatro, cinco, cinco, seis, seis, siete, siete, ocho, ocho, nueve, nueve, diez, diez, once, once, doce, Doce, trece, trece, catorce, catorce, quince, quince. Remember, in Spanish, quite a lot of the words have got the C followed by the E, just like this one. Once, doce, trece. Remember, you say that as a th sound, as if you were going to say the in English. So trece, not trece. Although you will hear some people say trece. If you're in South America, for example, they don't th the uh, the soft C sound. So, brilliant. Right, let's go through. And I've got the numbers out of order now, so see if you can tell me what the numbers are. Muy bien. ¿Qué número es? ¿Qué número es? Muy bien. It's tres. ¿Qué número es? ¿Qué número es? Es siete. Muy bien. ¿Qué número es? ¿Qué número es? Diez. Muy bien. ¿Qué número es? Trece. Muy bien. ¿Qué número es? Cuatro. Muy bien. ¿Qué número es? Cinco. Muy bien. ¿Qué número es? Es uno, muy bien. ¿Qué número es? Es quince, muy bien. ¿Qué número es? Ocho, muy bien. ¿Qué número es? Doce, bien. ¿Qué número es? Nueve, muy bien. ¿Qué número es? Seis, muy bien. ¿Qué número es? Once, muy bien. ¿Qué número es? Cero, muy bien. ¿Qué número es? Oh, es dos, muy bien. ¿Qué número es? Es catorce, muy bien. Muy bien. Ok, so, practice those numbers. If you need to go back over them again, that's absolutely fine. You can stop them, make a note of them. Because um, you might be needing to use them over the next few lessons. Okay, so we're going to go on to look at the different members of the family. Okay, so we're going to imagine that we are Lisa. Okay, so hola, me llamo Lisa. Hola, me llamo Lisa. And she's going to talk about all the different members of her family. So, tengo un hermano. Tengo un hermano. What do you think that means? Tengo un hermano. So, tengo means I have, okay? I have a brother, okay? So Bart is Lisa's brother. So tengo un hermano. Excelente. So repeat after me, un hermano. Muy bien. Tengo una hermana. Tengo una hermana. What do you think that means? Muy bien. I have a sister, okay? So Lisa has a sister. So, una hermana. Say that after me, please. Una hermana. Muy bien. Tengo un padre. 
Tengo un padre. I have a dad. Good. Tengo un padre. Tengo una madre. Say that after me, please. Una madre. Tengo una madre. Muy bien. What do you think that means? I have a mother. I have a mum. Muy bien. Tengo un abuelo. Tengo un abuelo. ¿Qué significa? ¿Qué es? I have a granddad. Muy bien. Tengo una abuela. Can you say that after me? Una abuela. I have a grandma. Muy bien. Tengo un tío. Tengo un tío. You might not recognize this guy. I had to find him on the internet. Uh, I have an uncle. Muy bien. Tengo dos tías. Tengo dos tías. What do you think that means? How has that changed? So we've got the number dos, which is two. We've got an S on the end. So I have, tengo dos, two, tías. I have two aunties. Muy bien. Tengo una prima. Repeat after me. Tengo una prima. Una prima. What do you think that means? I have a cousin. Is this cousin a girl or a boy? Muy bien, it's a girl. Excelente, because it's got una and it's got an E at the end. Excelente. And no tengo primo. No tengo primo. What do you think that means? Okay, so no tengo means I don't have. And primo... It's got an O on the end, so it's a male cousin. I don't have a male cousin. You notice that you don't have the word un o una in between. Okay, so no tengo primo. Muy bien. So, what I want you to do is have, sh have a look at them, study all the words, see if you can remember them. A lot of them are easy because... You've just got to change the letter at the end and change un to una, like in un tío, una tía. Uh, the only different one is padre y madre. Un padre, una madre. Okay? So, ¿qué falta? ¿Qué falta? ¿Qué falta? ¿Qué falta? Muy bien. Una hermana. ¿Qué falta? ¿Qué falta? Muy bien. Un tío. ¿Qué falta? ¿Qué falta? Muy bien. Un padre. Muy bien. ¿Qué falta? ¿Qué falta? Excelente. Una abuela. Muy bien. ¿Qué falta? ¿Qué falta? Una tía. Muy bien. ¿Qué falta? ¿Qué falta? Una madre. Muy bien. ¿Qué falta? ¿Qué falta? Un abuelo. Muy bien. ¿Qué falta? ¿Qué falta? What's missing? Muy bien. Una prima. ¿Qué falta? Finalmente. ¿Qué falta? ¿Qué falta? Un hermano. Muy bien. What I want you to do is I want you to tell me I'm going to give you two options. I want you to tell me what the which is the correct word. So, ¿qué es? ¿Es una hermana o un hermano? Muy bien, es un hermano. ¿Qué es? ¿Es un, un abuelo o una tía? Muy bien, es una tía. Muy bien. ¿Qué es? ¿Es un primo o una abuela? Muy bien, es una abuela. ¿Qué es? ¿Es un padre o una madre? Fantástico, es una madre. ¿Qué es? ¿Es un hermano o una prima? Excelente, es una prima. ¿Qué es? ¿Es un hermano o un padre? Fantástico, es un padre. ¿Qué es? ¿Es una hermana o un hermano? Muy bien. 
¿Qué falta? No sé. ¿Qué es? ¿Es una madre o un, una hermana? Muy bien, es una hermana. Ok, what I'd like you to do is tell me two of the words. Just say them out loud. Dime dos. Ok, and try and say three different ones now. Dime tres. Muy bien. Yo diría abuela, tío, tía, abuelo, madre. Fantástico. Excelente, chicos. Ok. So, what I would like you to do is I would like you to, once I've explained, I want you to stop the recording. I'd like you to draw this table. It doesn't need to be fa uh, particularly neat. Just do it roughly. And I'd like you to fill in the table with the words in the correct part of the table. So, for example, un padre is a dad and that's a masculine word, okay? So, it's related to a man, a boy, okay? So, what is the equivalent that is related to a woman, a girl? What's the equivalent of a dad who is a girl? And then finally, if you wanted to say you had two of them, so some people have two mams, two dads. How would you say, what would the equivalent be in there? So stop the recording, fill in the table, and when you finish, come back and we'll go through the answers, okay? Okay, so you must have filled in the table, you've paused it, you've come back, so let's go through the answers. So... Dos, we're going to put this one in the right place. So, dos madres, where do you think that goes? Muy bien, it goes into plural. It's two mothers. Un hermano, where do you think that goes? Good, it goes into masculine next to una hermana because that's the male version of una hermana. What about dos abuelas? Where does that go? Good, it's got the two S's on the end. So that goes on to plural, next to abuelo. Una tía. Where does that go? Una tía. Good. It goes into the feminine column, next to tías. Oh, I've just realised on tías I've missed out the accent there. There should be an accent on that I. Un primo. Un primo. Muy bien. It goes into the masculine column, next to una prima. Excelente. Okay, back up to the top. Una madre. Where does that go? Good. It goes into the feminine column. Una madre. Dos hermanos. Excellent. It goes into the plural com column. Next to hermano y hermana. Una abuela. A grandma. Where does that go? Good. It goes in the feminine column in the middle. Next to un abuelo. Un tío. An uncle. Goes into the masculine column. And finalmente, dos primos goes into the last box, plural, next to primo y prima. So I'd like you to have a look, uh, pause the recording again, and just have a look and see if there's anything that you notice between all of the words that are in the masculine, between the words that are in the feminine, and the words that are in the plural. There is just one accept exception to the rule, um, but we can talk about that in a minute, okay? So just pause it, have a think, and then come back to me and we'll talk about it, okay? All right, so what you'll notice is that in the masculine column, all of the words, apart from padre, all of them end in O, okay? So in Spanish, if a noun, what is a noun again? A noun is a thing or a state of being, so a thing. So for example, like a teddy bear, um, a car, a dad, a brother, okay? If it ends in O, it usually means it's masculine, okay? So it means that the word for a, so a brother, would be un, un hermano, a granddad, un abuelo, a uncle, an uncle, un tío, a cousin, un primo, okay? 
The word ends in O and the word for A or AN is UN, okay? The exception to that is PADRE, okay? PADRE y MADRE, they obviously, the, the first letter is different rather than the last letter. And unfortunately, that's just something that you have to learn. So all of the nouns in the feminine column in the middle all end in A. Hermana, abuela, tía, prima. And you'll notice that the word for A is una. Okay, it makes it easier because it kind of rhymes. So una hermana, una abuela, una tía, una prima. Okay, and finally, in the plural column, so if you want to say you had two brothers, two, is that grandmas or granddads? Brilliant, so that's two grandmas because it ends in A-S. Two aunties because it's got the A-S on the end and two male cousin, boy cousins because it's got O-S. So two brothers, two grandmas, two aunties, two male cousins. You put the word, the number, so you could change dos to tres, you could change it to cuatro, you could change it to whatever. And you just add the S on the end. What's a little bit tricky is that if you're talking about a brother and a sister, you would you always put O S on the end, okay? As if you're talking about just brothers. Or if you're talking about your grandma and granddad, you would say abuelos, okay? So but that's something for us to practice later on. Muy bien. Okay. So if you were if you've got a stepbrother or a stepsister, it's quite straightforward. All you need to do is take the word for the brother and you add in the middle astro. The hardest thing about this is being able to say it. So un hermanastro. Un hermanastro is stepbrother. I have a stepbrother. Tengo un hermanastro. If you want to say uh, stepmother, it's a little bit different. Una madrastra. So you'll see that there was an E on the end, but you take the E off and you add astra. Tengo una madrastra. Okay? So what I want you to do is, again, pause the video, and I want you to write down un hermano, una hermana, un padre, una madre. And I want you to tell me how you would say I ha um, just a stepbrother, a stepsister, a stepdad, a stepmom. Okay? Pause it for a few minutes, have a go, and come back, and we'll go through the answers. All right? Brilliant. So, you should have stopped it by now and had a go. So, un hermano, we've got up there already, un hermanastro. Una hermana, a stepsister, goes to una hermanastra. Un padre, stepdad, goes to un padrastro. It's quite difficult to say. And then una madre, as we talked about it before, una madrastra. Okay, so there for those people who have stepmom, stepdad, stepbrothers, for example. It's okay, so keep a note of them. Right. If you want to put them into a sentence, you need to use the word tengo, which we saw before. And if you've got a brother and a sister, you need to use this little letter, e, and, okay? So tengo un hermano y una hermana. I have a brother and a sister. Tengo dos tías. We talked about that earlier. I have two aunties. No tengo hermano, pero tengo prima. I don't have a brother, but I have a female cousin. Okay? So there's a few different ways of putting these words into sentences. So I have something and something. I have two of something. Or I don't have something, but I have something else. So, using those sentences... And you can go back in the recording. I'd like you to use this family tree. And I would like you to fill in these sentences. So, tengo dos mm y una mm. So, look at the family tree. What do they have two of? I have two. You could say, I have two grandmas. Abuelas. Tengo dos abuelas. Y una and a and remember it's una so it has to be feminine so y una hermana for example 
tengo un something, pero no tengo dos something. So I have a something, but I don't have two whatever, okay? And then I have no tengo, I don't have, and then two spaces for you to write your own sentences. What I'd like you to do is I'd like you to write them and then I'd like you to take a picture of them and send them to me so that I can see what you've written, okay? Remember, you can go back through the video to look for words, um, to look for write, um, spellings, okay? Just Actually, I've just noticed that mamá y papá, so mamá is like mum, papá is like dad, whereas madre is like mother, and padre is like father. I don't mind which ones you use. You use either or. Uh, write them down on a piece of paper, take a picture and send them to me so I can mark them and send them back to you. So pause the video, and when you're done, once you've done those six sentences, come back and we're just going to have a last little reflection, all right? All right, so once you've finished those sentences and you've sent them to me, I'd like you to just have a think. Write down one thing that you already knew before you started this lesson. And then I'd like you to write down two things that you've learned this lesson. And then I'd like you to write down one thing that you're going to remember for next lesson. All right, if you've got any questions, let me know. I can answer my emails. Um, I'm on Google Classroom, so I can answer anything any questions. All right. Hope it goes all right. And I'm looking forward to hearing from you. All right then. Bye.